And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers and the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway. Starting on the mound in this one, Kevin Gossman. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed Three. with. Next for the Brewers, Nicholas the Dude, fourth on the Nicholas. National League RBI leaderboard. First offering misses the mark. Counts one and oh. And the pitch inside and it hit him. Well, the worst part on that one is he lost control against one of the fastest guys on the team. This might turn into a double. So here's the cleanup hitter, Tyrone Taylor. Good power, not great in the OBP department. First pitch just misses. Riding to the plate, runner on the go. Pitch misses in. Throw, save! Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. And fouled off. The 2 1. And that's too high. Garrett Mitchell up next for the Brewers. Base hit center field. The do headed for the plate. The throw in. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Squared it up with the real time swing. Nicholas the Dude now at the plate. Hit by a pitch his first time up. He gave up a couple of runs in the first. His offense picked him up. It's time for him to settle in now and throw up some zeros on that scoreboard. That's in there. That's strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Come on, big guy. Come on, buddy. Swings and misses. Oh, That's good. strike two. On the ground. And it's wow. just foul. That was close. Tied up here in the early going. On a line. Here, Grand Slam! His 13th home run of the season, and the Brewers have the lead. It's 6-2. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, number 36. 
Schneider. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Ow! Two unsuccessful stolen base attempts tonight, so I think this is where we probably see them change up their plan offensively. The running game just isn't working, and those are costly outs, so they're going to have to string together some hits and change things up a little bit. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Nicholas Dedu. He's already homered here in this one. The dude getting the start at second, just 21 years old. What a run over the last 10 as he's hitting over 400 during that span. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Right here, huh? Drive it up there. They say it went. No ball, two strikes. Hey, see it. Hey, drive it. Here we go. Simber is ready. Hit hard. That gets oh, through. That one, hey, way to drive that one. Back against the wall with two strikes, right, but found a way. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Tyrone Taylor. One for two. Hey, your pitch. Drive it deep. Huh? Here, you go. Here goes the runner. Strike in there. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Hit hard, base hit. The dude around third. Bichette with a relay home, but it's offline. He will score. And it's now 12 2. Well done. Drives in the run. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went straight. One down. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. Pulling up on the ground. Let's go right here. At the belt and fires. On the ground is short. Adamas, the throw to first. Two down. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier yeah, enough. Yeah, Got yeah. out in front a little no bit, rolled yeah. over on it, and beat yeah, it into yeah, the ground. Yeah. So two on with two away. And it'll be George Springer to step right to the here. plate. 0 for 1 so far. Hey, got two here. The pitch. That's a base hit. Run scores. Not in time. He's safe. 12-5 is our score. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there, coming back and that at bat. So two down, now, Nicholas the dude up now for the Brewers. He's already homered in this game. The pitch is in for a strike. It's 0 1. Hey, see you to rip it up there. Next offering is fouled back. Two. That one drilled left field. 
Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, Boog. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. And you know what? He put a really good swing on that one. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you could make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Let's go now. One time. And it's even up. Let's go now. One time. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. The run comes in from second, 13 to 6. It's a double, third hit of the night for him. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Santiago Espino next up for the Blue Jays. He's 0 for 1. Espino. 3 and 2 now. Ground ball could be 2. The dude to Adamas. That's 1. Throw to first, but he beat it. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Three. Three. Out. He's out. And the batter is George Springer. No really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Kirk on at first. Nobody out. On the ground, could be two. To second, there's one. To Les, two. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness. And so one out, nobody on. Up now for Milwaukee, Nicholas the Dude. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And that's in there for strike one. Hey, let her rip one time. The pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Hey, let her rip one time. And now two and one. Come on, big guy, get your pitch right here. That one laced to center and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Next to hit, Tyrone Taylor. Runner on the goal. In the air, center field. Kiermaier puts it away, and there's two down. The center field, number five, Garrett Mitchell. Man at first, and here is Garrett Mitchell. One for three. Come on, big guy, one time. Here you go. He's going. The he's kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw there. Safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Now one missed. Runner at second, two down. Strike two. Runner leads away at second. Runner goes again. Stays alive. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. to the bottom of the eighth to the batter down Santiago Espinal the designated hitter Santiago Espinal Ashby back to work on the ground right side and it gets by him Now the catcher now up to hit, Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. On the ground, a short could be two. One at second, double play, and that'll do it for the inning. This one pretty well decided at this point. Through eight full, Milwaukee leads it 14 to six. Runner on at first with one gone. Nicholas the Dude Nicholas. up now for the Brewers. Ah, oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now batting, now batting. Right, right fielder, fielder. Tyrone, Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. Three. Whit Merrifield now up batting. to the plate. Whit Merrifield. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one. Telez, two. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really now get to appreciate all the of the finer three. details and how these guys execute. Well, Boop, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. 14-6, the final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.